All right, welcome everybody. You uh, are joining uh, us for our next in our series of Lunch and Learn webinars. Today, I am pleased to announce we will be presenting some of the key benefits that an integrated customer portal for your Sage 300 system can provide to your organization. And I would like to welcome our presenter today, Robbie Bernstein from the sales director at Commerce Build, as she's going to walk us through a presentation today. Robbie's uh, expertise covers not only e-commerce solutions, but she also has a broad range of experience from financial and payment processing systems in the not-for-profit world. She's worked for event app technology companies. She's done branding, marketing, lead gen, social media engagement, some public relations, as well as she has experience uh, starting and running businesses, uh, operations, wholesales, um, in the wholesales, manufacturing, distribution, and retail sales areas. So she's got a broad range that really fits in with um, what Commerce Build provides, which is a great integrated e-commerce solution. And today we're going to look at a subset of that, as I mentioned, that is their customer portal. So without further ado, welcome, Robbie. I'm just going to remind people that we're recording today's webinar. And we're going to post the recording on our YouTube channel after. If you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A area um, in the GoToWebinar, and we'll answer them at the end. So, Robbie, um, it's over to you, and we see your screen. Great. Thanks so much. Well, I'm blushing. Anyway, I want <laughs> you know, and Joel, uh, just for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful series that you put on, and I am so appreciative of this opportunity. Well, so good to have you. <laughs> I hope you all have a great lunch in front of you and truly appreciate you all making the time to learn more about customer portals and commerce build. And today I'm so excited to talk about how to reduce amend costs and customer inquiries with a B2B customer portal. And hey, everybody, I'm Robbie Bernstein. As well as that, I'm the Director of Sales for Canada for Commerce Build. This is my contact information, but of course, we always recommend reaching out to your managers or account executives at DNA, and they can arrange a meeting with all of us together. So, for today's agenda, I will start with an overview of who we are at Commerce Build, followed by the benefits of a customer portal. We're doing an incredible promotion with Sage to kick off Q1. So I'm going to discuss this outstanding opportunity to try it risk-free while saving thousands of dollars. And who does not love that? And lastly, the part I love the most, I'm going to demo our client Kapler and how our customer portal saved hours a day of their CSR's time and elevated their servicing. I'm also going to walk you through our ROI calculator, which shows the value of time saved and money with our automation. As Will said, if you do have any questions, please put them in the question or chat box and we'll go to them at the end of this presentation. So a little about us, we've been seamlessly integrating into Sage for 16 years, building scalable, reliable, and robust e-commerce software. It's all cloud-based, plug and play out of the box, and it's a centralized platform. At one time we were the OEM for Sage, and a lot of the instances say Sage e-commerce still. And we're even inside the Sage Configurator price list, which says it all. You can see there at the bottom, Sage Tech Partner Plus. A little more about our platform and our company is that we did start in 2006. Our CTO down in New Zealand picked Sage as the company he wanted to work with. So we started as Agpac and rebranded it into Sage 300. What people don't know is that Blair, our CTO, actually went to France for an entire year and he spent that time with Sage and the development team there. And because of all his hard work, we were able to develop a full cloud version of Sage. So you can see that in 2011, we launched native Sage X3 and onward, we are embedded into the platform, which makes us very unique. In 2014, we went global on four continents, which is so exciting. I mean, we're not in Antarctica yet, but if anybody can hook me up with some e-commerce penguins, let's do it. In 2017, we became a branded Sage e-commerce, the OEM for Sage. 
In 2019, we actually surpassed a million customers. It was at this point we separated from Sage as their OEM, because our passion is all about e-commerce and Sage loves accounting. We rebranded as Commerce Build, but to this day, we're the only certified solution approved by Sage. A milestone we surpassed last year was over 2 billion in GMV, which is gross merchandise value and how e-commerce is actually measured. 2 billion in the B2B industry actually puts us at the top of the list. Of course, the very highest on the list in 2021 was Amazon. Their B2B business was a little more than $25 billion, but the fact that we're a tenth of their size, we're really excited about this. In 2022, we are really excited that we're on the optimized Sage list for both X3 and Sage 300. So it really shows our relationship with Sage and their trust with our solution. What customers are saying about us is that we're passionate and we strive for elite servicing. You'll see with Captera, we have over a 4.5 star rating and for G2 Crowd, 4.7. And I always love this quote by Freedom Pet Supplies that we did triple their daily sales with our new Commerce Build web store that we had created for them. These statistics say a lot. 90% of B2B buyers will turn to a competitor if a supplier's digital channel doesn't meet their needs. And one I particularly like is that 87% of buyers would pay more for a supplier with an excellent e-commerce portal. And you can see how much that's changed. I mean, it was 74% in 2019. And as we say, look at it today, it's at 87%, and I'm sure it's still growing. By 2025, they say 75% of all buyers will expect to transact online. I mean, I feel like we're already at 100%, but I mean, if we put all our hands up right now, who doesn't transact online already? Customer portals and e-commerce helps drive new revenue. And it's really important we do reduce recession and inflation concerns. And that's because we're gonna be adding an employee, you would say, that never takes sick leaves, it doesn't go on vacation, it works 24 seven, 365 days a year. It's that team player who's gonna do all the heavy lifting, all the automation, so that your superstars on your team will be able to focus on what they're excelling in, like the handshakes, going to do site visits, or even making sure that they're you know, understanding client retention and how to help them in that way. We can scale and grow worldwide for you because our sites are out of the box and affordable to implement. You can win more customers because you can reach more global customers. Or maybe you've been selling in one province and you want to go across Canada. We can maximize your ERP investment because you've invested so much into Sage. So why wouldn't you want to take this to a whole new level and have an e-commerce site that integrates into your source of truth, as we call it? We're going to reduce your administration costs. We're going to improve the customer experience because they can log on whenever they want and reduce those customer inquiry emails because we're going to be providing all that information that they're always calling about. Our plug and play nature of our platform is significant. It means not having to code anything. You're able to map into Sage 300. With our standalone customer portal, why this is important is that your customers are always looking for efficiencies. We can offer this to you at a very economical and easy to implement way. You're gonna gain efficiencies by enabling your customers to self-serve, find information about an order, to see if it has shipped, and what the tracking number is to actually see documents related to that order. Our standalone portal is really one of those things I can't say enough good things about because we've had such great success stories for it. The fact that we also can be online in a rapid period of time, I mean, we can do portals within five days. And we've done it even faster for some companies because they're so excited to get going. It's that straightforward. Everybody always asks us which industries need e-commerce. Well, they all do. And this is just a little portrait of a few of our clients and industries because we serve them all. But a fun story, NOAA Chemicals on the chemical space, they sell to chemists around North America and one of their big clients is SpaceX, you know, Elon Musk, so that's really exciting. For food and beverage, Chef's Paradise in Toronto, Skunza Candy, we just signed up Rogers Chocolates, Premier Brands, um, we really are very well versed in that category. 
of course, we serve very big um, enterprise name companies as well, like Satellite, Mitsubishi. And a story close to my heart in the pharma space is with Intermar Strategies. So maybe if you haven't heard of Amerisource Bergen, they're a big pharmaceutical company in the States. They're actually on Forbes top 100 and they're number 50. So you can imagine how much processing they do to have that volume. They came to us with Intermar Strategies, their Canadian subsidiary with a very tall order. Can you integrate into SAGE and can you handle the responsibility to distribute all the COVID vaccines across Canada? And of course, we're like, yes, yes, yes. And we did. And so for all of us, from every vaccine, from the first one to our boosters, this is from our platform. We were able to handle the volumes and that's what makes me so proud. So much so that they're now distributing other pharmaceutical products through our platform because it went that well. To the customer portal, this is a snapshot, which I will be getting into in our demo, but just to let you know, we do reduce calls and emails. We're gonna be able to do real time inventory status is available 24 seven so that they can see their orders. They can see, has it shipped? Oh, it's partially shipped. They can even see their tracking and click on it. If you want, we can help you have a little online chat button if you want that servicing. We can even do downloading of documents, which I'll show you, where PDFs can be attached to invoices and also being able to pay invoices. Of course, we also do B2B and B2C e-commerce web stores, which I always like to address because with so many of our clients, they do start with the portal and then they wanna expand the sales enablement. And we strive to do a personalized buying experience because who's kidding who, I have to say it, B2B hasn't been done that well and we wanna bring it, as you would say, to that Amazon level where it is that personal journey where it's plug and play out of box design. So you don't have to be a coder. So it's gonna be easy to implement. We can do omni-channel delivery. We can do customer specific catalogs. That personalized pricing is pushing into the sites because this is all coming from your Sage 300. So if you have a customer with special pricing, don't worry, we can make that happen because it all pushes through as we say. SEO and cross-selling, product customization, 30 third-party app integrations. We can even do integrated shipping. Yes, we get asked a lot, LTL, Canada Post, Purelater, UPS, FedEx, we can do it. Elastic search, which means when you type in a word, like as we say on Amazon and all these categories and all these products show up in a second, that's what Elastic Search is and we use that as well. When you're a customer of ours, this is our implementation, which I always love to share because it's very seamless. We're 100% turnkey and out of the box. So we have a proven fast track technology to make it seamless so that your customer portals can be implemented. We say between two to six days, we can build a full B2B, B2C e-commerce site from 30 to 60 days. Sometimes it can be a bit longer if you're doing very high level complexities. We give you your dedicated project manager to ensure success. And with our full implementations, you get seven hours of training because we want this to be seamless for you that you can maintain it. And of course, know how to change a price. What makes Commerce Build unique is that we're embedded into Sage 300, providing real-time replication of 75 data tables into a secure customer portal and web store, we can do it in two minutes. And truthfully, I can't even finish my coffee in two minutes. So I'm proud of this one. Sage also is a single source of truth. So as I keep saying, we are integrating into your ERP, which has all your information. You've got your products, you've got your customers, unique pricing, you've got future orders, everything. So we want this to be, as we say, the source of truth for everything that's pushing into your site so it's accurate and to remove all that manual entry. We have secure Google Cloud SaaS reliability. It's constantly monitored and maintained 24 seven. We have low price points and fixed fee implementation costs. We are affordable and we've been told that. Fair pricing, it makes it easy to get started. And we're the only end-to-end e-commerce provider on the price list. We're very authentic with our pricing, so I just wanted to share this with you that we do 
a one-time implementation fee, and then we have our monthly SaaS. So with Sage 300, we have four, you would say, packages that start with that customer portal that we're talking about today. The one-time um, cost of implementation is only 3,000 and 600 monthly. If you wanted to move up to do a B2B or B2C, you know, basic started uh, foundation package, you can see the prices go to 930. And then advanced means you're gonna be doing maybe like split orders, you need like multiple warehouses, we can absolutely do that as well as with enterprise if you wanted to do custom field integrations or say like product configurators like building out a bike for instance that we can easily handle as well i'm going to be getting into our demo the exciting part i know no more powerpoint but before i do that i just wanted to lastly share this slide of our q1 promotion with sage which we're so proud and excited about so to kick off Sage's Q1 in October, we work with them to give back to the Sage community. So we really truthfully wanted to help all our clients across Canada here um, by building out your customer portal for free. And you're like, what? Yes, it's true. And the reason we're doing it, because we know it's been a really hard time the past few years. Who's kidding who? It's COVID, especially in Canada, we had very strict lockdowns. So we wanted to give back and also support you during this economy as well. So we're gonna build it out, as we say, and we're not gonna ask you ever for that $3,000. And we're also gonna waive the six months of monthly, which is $3,600 of value. So in total, it's $6,600 of savings. And this will give you the opportunity so that you can try us. You're not gonna have to feel the pressure. You can see how our automation is gonna change your customer support team and sales teams right away. And how you would do this is you would work with your DNA team here to assist. They'll put it on the Sage 300 order. We'll get you started, implemented within a week. And then in six months, we'll come back and say, hey, How's it going? And we do have a retention rate of 98%. So I'm pretty sure, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think you'll be like, we're absolutely loving this. We wanna go and then you'll be continuing to start paying that $600. And with that, let's go into showing you what our customer portal is to get you really excited. So okay, thanks, Ravi, that was great. Just wanna remind everybody, um, if you've got any questions while we go through the demonstration, please just put them in the q and I'll be, there's a questions window. I'll be monitoring it and we'll uh, answer at the end, probably unless I think it's something that Ravi can just uh, mention briefly there. Yeah, great. Right, so I see the web pages here, Robbie. You're good to go. Yeah. Well, I'm not trying to scare you all. I know it's feeling a little bit, you know, dramatic, but <laughs> Tapler is an incredible client of ours. And just so you know, they're out of Alabama and they've been doing protective clothing for 45 years. Yes, look at that. Their hazmat suits. And I always like to share the story of how did we help them and why did they come to us? So they came to us like really early of 2020 with wanting to help their sales team being able to automate giving tracking they were bombarded by where's my order has it shipped can you send me an invoice and we're like absolutely we can do the customer portal so we're in talks with that and then guess what happens it's march of 2020 and yes sadly the world is shutting down and the whole world besides wanting hazmat suits were wanting our Lululemons. And so what happened was Kapler, which I love with their personality, you can see that their customer support teams called you all call, as they say, they're very vibrant, fun personality. And the y'all call team in March was getting hit. Like you can imagine everybody needing hazmat suits. And in all seriousness, we know it was a very um, scary time. And so this is where Capper's like, you've got to help us instantly. And there are one customer that we did implement this portal within days. And how we did it is we wanted to keep everything the same. So you'll see at the top here, it's clapler.com. And to, at the portal, you'll see up here, it says distributor login. So this is how you'll log in. And this is what we would do for you. So you can see now it shows distributor.capler. So it could be for your organization. Maybe you want to call it portal, say, .xyz.com. Everything with us is secure. It's 
probably our top question because of course you want to make sure you've got secure logins. So as you can see, as a reseller for Kapler, I'm going to log in. So it's, this is my address. I'm going to log in and they have a password. When I talk about the personalized journey that we strive to do at Commerce Build with your site, so you can see it right here, it will say, welcome, Robbie Bernstein. And this is a live site. So I am right now one of their customers, Fisher Scientific, with their um, client code. And what's really nice for you to see is that when we're saying that we're pulling in everything from your Sage 300, it shows right away. This is coming from the AR record so that your customer care team even the sales reps, they can go from client to client. So if I needed to see what protective clothing needs or say South Dakota is calling me about something, I can switch. But what's important for you also to know is that we do have settings of um, customization so that your sales reps will only be able to say, see the accounts they manage and not every account. So don't worry, we can cover that as well. So to the portal, it's really simple. We've really got three categories here for the portal that I'll go through. I'll talk about the auto order at the end, but right away with Kapler, you can see we'll do the customization of all the colors and branding for you. So we'll match it to your site. In this order section of our customer portal, it's as you say, pretty transparent here. You can search by your order number, you're going to search from purchase order number. And what's exciting is this is all the information pulling from your Sage 300. It's every order that Fisher Scientific has ever placed with Kapler. So whether it means it was an online order or if it was keyed into Sage, a phone order, we hear it, emails, you name it, it's every type of order. It's not just going to be e-commerce orders. And as their customers, so for me, I'm able, as I say, I could type in the purchase order number, I can scan by dates, like what did I order again in May? You can even search from back orders, if it's processed, chipped, it's great, it's all filtered. You can see the tracking number, so for here, if I went into an order that shipped, I love this, I can click on this and I can see, oh great, FedEx. Oh dear, <laughs> I have to call FedEx to, to see where my package is. But this is where this is what you need. So that way their team is not being bombarded with these calls. They can call FedEx to be, where's my order? What's wonderful also is that they can view all these orders. So it's really seamless. So here you go. They can see their shipping address, that it was shipped by FedEx. They can see their billing address, the payment method, what was ordered. We make it, as we say, seamless for them to print the order. We have the document links too, which I'll show you so that they can click on the order or their invoices. So it'll show you what that looks like. Here's an example. This is like a packing list from Kapler. And when I was talking to earlier in our, um, doing my PowerPoint, I was saying that we can add documents and this is called ERP Doc Sync. And what this is, is the ability that you can add PDFs, hypothetically, to invoices in the portal. So when you're selling hazmat suits, you need a certificate of conformance. You can't ship it without it. And this is how we help, you know, eliminate having their team, you all call, having to email the customer separately with the conformance document, which can get confusing. So we created the automation very seamless. So they've got all this information. Um, to do our um, ERP doxing, it's an additional service that we give. It makes it a more advanced portal. So I'll just be authentic to um, let you know that this is not part of the promotion, but it's something that we can handle because it's very popular. I actually had a call the other day. It seems sadly that you're having as clients to prove that you know things have been shipped, that it's been on the truck and that it's been delivered and you have to show those photographs. So these are things where we're making that seamless for you to you know add those photographs to the order that they can look at to be like, yep, here's the truck. It was delivered to our warehouse. So this is part of the orders and in the customer portal as well, we have a transaction history. So this is wonderful. The accounting teams will love this because once again, they can search by transaction number. They can search for orders, invoices, payments. We've got that filtering. Once again, you can filter by dates. 
and we can even do unpaid and paid. So essentially the transactional history, all pulling in from your Sage 300 records, will show credits, if there's debits, you can, once again, I can view an invoice, I can see all this information, I can print it. And one thing that we can add We'll do this after the six months promotion, but we can add a little payment button. So let me show you this with a client called Foothills Creamery. They're an ice cream company based out of Calgary. So who doesn't want some chocolate chip you know, ice cream right now? But for Foothills Creamery, they added the pay invoice into the customer portal, which means that we can add credit card payments. We work with distinct um, gateways. So for instance, we can connect to Stripe, Bambora, Braintree, PayPal, for instance. And this can give that automation to your clients. If you wanted to give them the ability to do credit cards, we can do EFTs. Or of course, if you just have them all in that terms, you might not want to have this feature there. But we always like to show you the possibilities of how we can grow with you and what we can offer. Back to our portal, we have user preferences, which just means you can change your email address, you can change passwords so that your team doesn't have to deal with this either. They can automatically do this as well. You would think this feature is so simple, but you know what's so funny is I actually had another call with a customer and the reason they literally are signing up, not just for a portal, but for a B2B site with us, is because of this. They said, do you know how hard it is, Robbie, for us to get updated addresses from our customers. It's impossible. So the fact when I said, look, your client can be able to fit in all their addresses if they have multiple warehouses or locations or they're moving, they can update it and this all pushes into your Sage. So what's important for you to know is this information is gonna sink into Sage within less than a minute and anything that you're updating will sink into our site. So what that means for you then is, that if you did have to change any of the orders, they'll be able to be updated. Any changes in this site will be uploaded within a minute because I always get asked that too. So in summary for our customer portal and what we'll do for you with this promotion is we'll build this out as we say with your branded colors, we're gonna give you the orders so that all the orders from your clients from your Sage 300 pull in, they'll be able to view the tracking they can be able, as we say, to view the invoices. They'll be able to have the transactional history, which, as we say, is very important. The accounting teams are already going to start buying you Christmas gifts. <laughs> you can have the user's preferences so they can update everything, as well as their address book. A feature that I wanted to show you that it's not part of the portal, but upgrading with us is this auto order. So Kapler wanted to grow from the customer portal to enable sales. So this is just to show you in the future, if you wanted to grow with us, you could add like auto orders. So these are the items that, you know, Fisher Scientific always are selling and want to, you know, be able to reorder with two clicks. So these are things we can offer and that would then become a B2B foundation package, but it's really exciting to show you how clean and simple it is. Now, I know you're like, well, Robbie, let's see, what are the savings all about? And this is where I wanted to end with our ROI calculator. And we created this to have discussions with our clients. And they really have brought out great discussions because Firstly, CFOs, as we know, want to see the numbers. But second of all, you really do want to kind of grasp, well, how much time are we saving? So let's show you. So we, we created questions um, like how many customer service reps are interacting with your customers? We found an average of four, but just to show you, if I wanted, I could change it to three. I love that it's, you know, um, not showing the, <laughs> the number there. Let's just... Uh, um, refresh my screen here with the numbers. Got a love life demos here. Um, but let's get it right into here. Let's see if it will refresh it. Otherwise, okay, I'll just do, you know, I'm not a robot. Here I, I am. I'm going to be just um, getting us back into here. There we go. There we go. So, what I wanted to show you then is and I'll just get this back into the cost here, is here. Okay, so 
average customer um, interactions we found were four, but as you can see, you can change it up to numbers and it will change the values. We did salaries. On average salary for a CSR in Canada is around the 40,000 range. And with benefits, it does add up to about 62,000. Um, this can be changed based on how much you're paying for CSR reps. You can also do total number of customer interactions, which we found on average was 30 a day per CSR, where they spent about five minutes per interaction, unless they're trying to find invoices where I've been hearing it can take up to 20 to 30 minutes sometimes. We did a very conservative metric of 25% would be self-serving on the customer portal. We wanted to do almost like what is the most minimal usage. I will tell you that within implementations, it usually starts at 50, growing to 75 to 90% within the first three months. Our portal, as I told you, costs $3,000 to implement the one-time fee with the 600 monthly. I wanted to show that so you could see the true value metric. And what we found is that your company will be saving over 5,700 in the per month in the first year with our ability to alleviate, where's my invoice? Can you help me with the tracking? I can't find my purchase order. Like, did you partially ship it? So with this automation, it's also saving 6.6 .6 days of your CSR's time, which is incredible because you can go with that question, what would you do? And we've been finding that so many teams have been really hit hard. As we know, it's been really hard to find replacement workers. People have been quitting a lot more easily. So this might be able to help support you as if they, if you're on a very um, thin team right now, or they're working excessively long hours so you can get them back to that normalcy. So this calculator has been shared with Will and his team at DNA here so that they can have these incredible conversations with you so that you can go through these numbers and see how much impact we will have just with the portal alone. And so with that, um, this will end the demo part. And I just wanted to reiterate again, if I can share my screen with the promotion, um, yeah. is right here. Yeah, so as we said, we're so excited to work with Sage and with DNA with this, that we are gonna implement your customer portal at no charge. We're gonna waive six months of monthly so you can try us risk-free. And in that six months, you're gonna let DNA and us know if you wanna continue with it, which I know you will, and that's where you'll start being billed only $600 a month. You will never be paying that one-time implementation fee, it's on us. With that, in the six months, if you wanted to add the payment option, we can, um, as we say, with our integrated gateways. And if you wanted to explore the ERP docs things, having those PDFs attached to the invoices, we can easily do that as well. And we're open to doing that right away if you need that immediately. So. Any questions, let me know how I can be of help here. All right, well, that was great. Um, a lot to cover, you covered there, Robbie, in a short period of time, so that was excellent. Good to highlight this uh, promotion, <laughs> excuse me. Um, just um, let me go check the q and I'm going to, um, uh, I'm gonna just share my screen here, that's okay. all right. Yeah, I'll take um, I'm going to make myself the presenter again and let me start uh, go back to my little PowerPoint here. Uh, give me there we go. So, um, just go to the Q&A section. There is a couple of questions here. Um, the uh, the first one is um is the monthly fee fixed regardless of the number of transactions that came in from the question chat i'll be yeah that's a great question that. that's a great question it is fixed so we're not going to be charging you more which i know other providers do um we don't so when we say it's a fixed rate one-time implementation free that's it and the monthly won't change we oh, want okay. you to be full. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to nope. wait for Good. <laughs> okay, we got a couple more here. It says, are we locked into a package with Commerce Build? 
Ooh, that's a great question. And you're not. So what we do is we have so many customers, for instance, like say you started with a customer portal. You're like, am I locked into that? Well, you can grow with us. If you wanted to go to a foundation package, you can switch. It just means we'll change the monthly. Um, if we needed to build out your site, then we could just go through that with you of the additional fees to build out your full um, foundation package. And on reverse, we have clients who maybe thought they needed configurators doing enterprise level, realized they weren't using it and decided to go down a package, which you can do so you could go down to an advance. So we allow you to order products, I like to say a la carte, if you needed to add like that ERP doc sync, you could add that without having to change packages. Um, we're very flexible. All right. Um, the next question was, how fast can a B2B web store be implemented? So maybe there's a two parts here um, because we could talk about both the customer portal section and then the full web store if they were ever going to either implement that or move to that um, because yeah. Commerce Field obviously provides both options that are fully integrated to Sage 300. Yeah, that's a great question too. So. With customer portals, we can do them between two to six days. It's really quick and everything with us, you don't have to be a coder, so it's out of the box, plug and play. And then for building out the B2B or B2C site, we can build them as fast as 30 days. Usually it takes 60 days. And then I say, sometimes it might take 90 if you're doing very high level, complex, you know, um, custom field integrations, like a configurator, um, where we'll need a little bit more time, but very yeah. quick. Yeah, okay. Very and so far, yeah, we've got one more question. Mm -hmm. um, it says, do we have to wait to upgrade our Sage 300 before getting uh, a commerce build uh, customer portal site built? Yeah, that's a great, we always get asked this, I love this question because everyone's always worried, wait, we're about to do an upgrade. Does that mean we can't, you know, start with Commerce Build? And it's like, no, no problem. So Will and his team can do your upgrade and we'll be fine. We'll be building out the store or say you've got the store going and you're not going to be doing your upgrade for seven months later once the store has gone live. That's not a problem. You can still do your um, upgrade with DNA. It's not going to be an issue and your store is going to keep running. So what happens is usually it takes, I think, about, you know, a couple of hours, Will, like a day maybe to do the upgrade. So your store is going to keep going. And then once you finish the upgrade, we sync it back. And then all the information from the day's activity in the store will push into your stage and vice versa. So we handle upgrades really easily. And it should yeah, and I can I can speak from experience over the years having clients deal with Commerce Build. Um, our our implementation or our upgrade uh, and project management teams are are very well versed in this. Um, we would give uh, you know when we're planning an upgrade, we're obviously going to check with Commerce Build and make sure that their synchronization works with that version, and they are. Um, a full development partner of Sage 300. So of course they meet the guidelines that Sage requires. So w within 90 days or less of a new release, uh, Commerce Build, build uh, will support that release um, in my experience. And then all we do is just um, plan to shut off the connection to Sage 300 on the weekend that we're doing the final upgrade, or maybe it's during a week. But um, so then people can still go on the portal or still go on the, st the full store if that's what you have. Um, transactions will still be processed. They just won't come down to Sage 300 until after the upgrade and we reconnect um, and the commerce build team tests everything with us and then boom, the orders come in and the data syncs back up to the sites. So it's it's very seamless and and uh, we do this all the time with uh, the commerce build teams, support teams help. So it's never a problem. Whether, you know, we've had clients that were on a very old version of Sage and hadn't updated for many years and work fine and then when we did upgrade um, they just got all the latest features in Sage 300 and the commerce built store site just kept going as always oh, so that's kind of great that's why we love working with you guys <laughs> yeah yeah well you guys make it easy I mean you guys are the experts on that side but um, you guys make it easier to work together so that's great okay well um, 
I think, let me just check. Yeah, that's the end of the question. There's nothing in the chat here. Um, so I appreciate uh, your time today, Robbie. It's been great to review, um, obviously, the, the capabilities and the value of having um, a integrated customer portal with your Sage 300, um, getting some of that workload off your staff, getting ROI, putting them on more productive work, letting your clients deal with you when they want to, um, you know, not uh, having to wait for a phone call or an email, they can just log in and get the information they want, do the, uh, you know, put in an order, just, you know, look up an in information on a previous order, all that sort of thing. Really, um, in today's world, we've been um, getting more and more requests for this. Um, so this is great to review. As I mentioned, this was recorded. There will be an email sent out to attendees uh, shortly with the recording attached, and we're going to post it on our YouTube channel. You can just go to our website and click on the little YouTube icon. And it'll take you to our channel, and you can see this and all of our previous event recordings. If you want more information um, about uh, the Commerce Build uh, customer portal or their full web store, just reach out to Michelle or I at sales at da.ca. You can give us a ring at the office. Um, there is information on our website as well, as I mentioned, and we'd be happy to chat with you about it. So again, Robbie, thank you very much. Really appreciate the time and the great presentation, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Uh, thanks so much, Will. It was such an honor. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.